Welcome back to the Ghost Key. I am Gray, and today we finally have more Football Manager for you. Um, I know this isn't one of the most popular, whatever you want to call it, LPs on my channel. That's fine. That's great. Um, but I haven't really been posting this for another reason, actually. I really haven't been satisfied with my, um, I don't know, like my commentary and shit. Like, I just... I haven't been, uh, like, I don't know, like I said, I just, I don't feel like I've been having, first of all, like I said, I just don't get into it sometimes, and, and all that good stuff, but we do have, uh, Philip Schoberg back, so, uh, we can actually, you know, have a little bit of depth here, so, um, like I said, it's just one of those things where I'm giving it another try, I'm gonna give it another go, and, uh, you know, hopefully, uh, hopefully have some fun with this here soon. We want a Wusu back here, don't we? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Schoberg. Oh, wait a minute. Who do we have? Hanan, and that's what I'm looking for. I knew there was someone that I needed to play that wasn't out there. Okay, so. We're pretty much back to full strength, um, with the exception of Monsalve. Um, so, yeah, that's about it. Um, okay then, I think that's everything we need to go ahead and do before we jump into this match. Um, oh, wait a minute, Omar, Robbie, we have him on the bench, okay. Gronholm, where's, uh, what's his name? Yeah, there we go, that's who I want. I want to take out... Maslov. I want to have him start. See if he can go at least 60 minutes, and then we'll go from there. Um, as I've said before, I've I'm kind of bummed out with this LP because oh boy, Swissy has not been playing well. Because um, like I said, the oh yeah, the contractual stuff that we're having troubles with and all that good shit kind of bums me out it kind of makes me not want to play so um jesus we're gonna have a ton of numbers to fill here I'll go with four for philip schoberg because that sounds like a good good number a defender would have right anyway um i have been toying with a uh a variation of our current formation with these guys moved out as wingers um and having two strikers if you will or two attacking midfielders um i haven't quite figured it out um for a couple of reasons um number one uh the one club that i was kind of using it with because i had wingers on that team and i was converting them to you know central midfielders and using them as the the wide midfielders that they were i was playing with them a little bit um and one of them got injured so i can't really go and play all that much anymore because i only had two players to fill out i was just looking for something to vary shit up a little bit something to give us like a little more punch or a little bit more attacking verve if you will um but uh like i said one of the players got injured like the one time i was oh should we no wait hmm. i want to say go and have some fun tonight let them relax a little bit um also another thing that i was looking at um oh shit what was i gonna say oh um not really something i was looking at i was uh one of the things i'm kind of irritated by um is the fact that we can't do any of this like we can't uh one thing one thing i really want to have changed or added to the game is the ability to like actually take over and watch a practice session you can go and schedule friendlies with your um well, you can go to schedule friendlies anytime, really, if you want, and work on new formations and see how they work. Personally, I want to do like a little 15 minute stint in practice with a new formation. That's what I really want. That was a good try. Ooh. Oh. But anyway, that's because you can do like a. You can do friendlies, you know, even with your own youth squad and shit like that. But the problem is nice. Well done, Bachman. Happy with that. Early Lee, let's see if we can hang on to it, huh? But, um, 
Yeah, that's, that's one of the things I really want, because I don't want to do 90 minutes, because you take a lot fatigue-wise, especially if you're playing two matches a week. You know, I just want to see, like, 15 minutes of play with the formation to see what I can, see what I need to tweak instead of having to use it during matches that actually count. You know, it's it's kind of weird that you get stuck in those, um, you get stuck with real real world problems, too, when when you you consider all this because I mean these are the things that real managers have to deal with I mean you have a formation that works well that gets you your results you want to try out or use some sort of alternative alternative game plan to try and change things up you know so that you have a plan B something like that and you need to test it against viable opposition Jesus Christ yeah Soxo is gonna get yellow here in like two seconds it's a little a uh, little annoying we do have yeah, we do have the uh, good old hassle opponents thing off, but um, you know, like I was saying, you kind of get stuck in these things where you, we can't really just go and say to hell with it, you know, and try a new formation. I mean, like I said, it's it sucks. I just want to see like, like I don't mind the growing pains in learning a new formation. I mean, as you've seen, we've already gone through that in the two seasons that we've had. Uh, you know that we've been running with this team but um you know i think having uh what do you want to call it like just a practice session where you can do 15 minutes of a game so that you can figure out what part of it what part of your formation itself isn't working and where you can kind of change that and make you know player roles do certain things shit like that the real nuts well not the real nuts and bolts but the real in-depth shit you know in terms of you know what you want like your wingers specifically, I've never been able to use wingers all that well, and I don't really know what, you know, what personal instructions to give them. So, giving me like 15 minutes to kind of uh, play around with that in a just a scrimmage and practice would be phenomenal, just so I can figure out that part. Like I said, ooh. Like I said, the other shit that's involved is not stuff that really bothers me all that much. Like I said, the growing pains and all that good stuff really don't bug me as much. That's okay. That that shit is fine, but it's just the, you know, me trying to figure out the system and, like I said, what instructions to give them to make the formation work. I'd, like I said, I'd like to be able to use that in in practice. That's one thing, like I said, I, I really hope FM16 is something that uh, will expand upon that. And I am pretty much convinced now, by the way, that we are going to jump right into FM16 when that thing comes out. So, um, you know, stay tuned and ready for that. Like I said, I think we'll, I think I'll finish up this season and see where we end. And then, um, like I said, we'll kind of, ooh, just run on that, oh yeah. See that that right there, that's a good play. That that's something that, you know, has that as that forward player as whether it's a striker or attacking midfielder in this in this instance. Oof. You know, that's 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 a play that all too often strikers give up on and really what you want is just someone up there who's gonna just put in a little effort because that's a you know, I mean if that would have led to a goal, I mean, just him running after that is what's is what uh you know put all that shit in motion but uh anyhow um i said i oh, ooh, good good stuff oh my god one too many passes i think there hananen should have let that rip instead of trying to send that over to ose who's having a pretty good season i have to admit i'm pretty happy you know it's as i've said before that's what really on the play of this game is just all the you know when you see someone when you see someone when you see your player succeed I mean that just I don't know it's weird it's weird the way it works out like how just I don't know especially when you start having like you start recruiting all these young kids and you know you you have players for several years and shit like that and you start seeing them like blossom into the into to like great football players or have great seasons. I mean, there's been some seasons where some players that I've had have just 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 been amazing. I mean, that's just all there is to it. But anyhow, 
that is what it is. Um, uh, let's see. Ta there was something tactically I was going to mention. and You know what? I think... Hmm. Oh, that's you. Yeah. I'm going to go with that. We are forcing them into some questionable tackles, which is good. I mean, that's kind of where we want to be. Um, we are gonna, we are gonna be in, we are gonna be in some dire straits. Like I said, if we can't figure out all the contractual shit and actually re-sign some of the players we have next season, would be very, very tough with this team because, first of all, we have to improve in some way, shape, or form. You know, whether it's a couple players here, a couple players there. I mean, we got a couple players coming in, but I don't think offensively because we're going to be losing uh, the majority of our midfield and our scores right now like i said ose is one of them uh oyala is one of them i think like hananen or somebody else we can't we can't resign it's it's weird the way that's kind of worked out but we are then going to need a a goal score because i think that's one of the things that's really uh oh Oh Jesus! We're really putting some pressure on them here. Like I said, forcing them into a lot of bad, uh, bad tackles, bad challenges, and shit. Oh my God! Did he just get a red? Wow! Straight red! Holy shit! Holy shit! I'm okay with that. As long as they don't fucking give up the goal, right? And that's one of the reasons why I took the um, the the hassle opponents thing off is we were just committing too many fouls with that first of all, and like the fouls kind of disrupt the flow of the game sometimes, especially when your team has a good amount of possession or is struggling to get possession. It doesn't do you a whole lot of good to just continue giving the opposition free kicks and you know free passes basically. Um, but oh Jesus, well that was awkward. Wasn't it? The way that looked. But anyhow. Um, shit, what was I going to say? Oh, we are, like I said, we are going to need, I think our weakness next season, like I said, it, I don't I don't think we'll play play through next season, but next season would definitely be, um, we definitely need some, uh, oh shit, I thought that was a goal. I mean, we'd, we'd really be in some dire straits, like I said. We, don't, we won't have then any quality goal scores or any goal scores that are really good for this league and with our defense being as poor as it is sometimes i mean suicy hasn't had a, a great go of it i think next season he'll be much much better but that first season especially for the youngsters in defense is usually really tough and you kind of have to take those sort of um mistakes and shit like that on the chin when you start a young young player like he is but i mean for me it is what it is and i'm not going to complain too much starting someone that that young i mean like i said in a couple seasons uh, okay good hunting didn't, didn't get fucking fu didn't get a card Ugh. but um yeah quite honestly like even with the older a couple of the older players i didn't feel like the uh defense is really that much better without Suisi in there or there weren't as many mistakes because I felt like there were enough mistakes like just I don't know like I said I, I just didn't feel confident in the way our defense was and if we're gonna have those sort of mistakes we might as well have a youngster who's gonna get better that's kind of the way I look at it I mean if you're gonna commit a lot of mistakes there's no point in stifling the progress of a younger player who can who's probably going to be better than the defender you have you know what I mean like if the defender you have doesn't make any mistakes or many mistakes compared to the younger younger player, I mean then, all right, yeah, you know, for the sake of results, oh geez, that's unfortunate. For the sake of results, you know, you can kind of put in that older player and slow the, not really slow the progression, but I mean, you know, take the heat, I should say, off the younger player. But you know, if if they're both going to commit the same amount of mistakes, then fuck it. Put the younger player in and go through those tough-ass growing pains and let him get better as a result. It's the way I see that shit. I mean, like I said, it, it'll cost you 
some results sometimes, especially those, you know, close 1-0 games or something like that or when your offense isn't firing, you know, you'll, you'll have a lot of difficulty with that sort of shit. But it's not, like I said, it's in the long run, I think it's better for you. Oh, just get rid of the damn ball. What the fuck are you doing? Jesus. Now he's broken. Just laying on the ground, just straight up fucking broken. Anyhow. Uh, I think... See, we're in kind of dangerous territory here because... Oh, boy. Yeah. We're in dangerous territory here because we've had a pretty good first half. However, I have this feeling that... No, yeah, Jesus. I have this feeling that if we were like, hey, uh, you, uh, you're doing great, then they're just going to completely slack off and Mariam's going to come back. So I think I'm going to put the fire to him and kind of, uh, yeah, that's, yeah, I don't think the job is done. Yeah, there we go. See, I had that feeling. Something too. Eventually you get that, you get that feeling. Like I said, this, this match engine and, just in in particular just really loves to come back does it ever some of the matches as i've said this before just fuck you know you beat a team within you know an inch of its life sometimes and they'll just come roaring back like it's nothing like i said you expect that in like a two nil oof oof Good movement around the ball there. And that's another thing too. I, I uh I'm looking for another another formation or at least a similar formation to this because I want like I said, we need like some sort of change of pace, you know, when the game kind of bogs down a little bit. Um we're gonna need Ooh. Uh, I guess that's the safe thing to do, but Especially when we get in these weird, weird kind of situations like this where we're up a goal and we need, you know, maybe a little bit more, a little bit more pressure offensively. Like I said, I mean, this formation really, really relies on the players themselves being uh, pacey and, and having good control. Good, you need good dribblers and, and, and pacey players to really use this formation. Oh, Jesus. I thought that was a goal. We got lucky there. We got very lucky. Very, very lucky. But anyhow. So, I mean, if you're going to use a formation like this, like I said, especially like a close-knit formation, you need you need pace in this game to, to basically lose your markers. And, of course, like I said, good control and good dribbling because you are in confined spaces, like right here. That was a miscommunication. But, I mean, when you start opening up those spaces back there, if you don't have pacey players to run, ah, there's that mistake. If you don't have PC players to run into it, you know you're gonna you're gonna have a tough time scoring, which is what I think the problem with this team is. We don't really have that great of pace all around. I mean, I think we're kind of a kind of a slow team, and and that's something too. Like you look at a lot of the players that have, um, and I've used like lower league uh, teams with this formation, and I've noticed that the PC players, especially in these lower leagues, are the ones that really shine. They're the ones that really can, you know, really, really look good. And you do need a good degree of finishing, but I mean, I don't think, honestly, like a finishing of like 11 or 12, 13, somewhere around there is probably about a, as good as you'll ever need. Especially those, those two midfield players on the corners out here and over there. You know, you, you've got those guys who have decent finishing. They don't have to be marksmen, but I mean, pace and decent finishing and close control there's the goal right there yep see uh, what the fuck am i what the fuck can i do honestly like i mean it's just uh, game just likes that fucking shit way too much i mean there's no reason for them to really be playing all that well maria that is i mean it's football is football and like i said i mean i think I think the thing that really hurts us and allows for these little comebacks and, you know, like I said, is 
Number one, we don't have great defending, and you know that's going to be a work in progress. Like I said, Suicide is going to be pretty good, but that's going to be a few years down the road, and we just have to kind of stick with it and deal with this sort of shit as it is. Um, but uh, yeah, as I say, Soxel is not going to get there, and, and like I said, the pace that we're lacking in this squad is is kind of, of course, they have like just in general, they've been pretty blah today been very good up front I don't think I mean I, I don't know really what he's doing out there he's kind of not spearheading much of anything oh fuck I thought nope well, oh Jesus I was gonna say right there that's a good chance as good a chance as any as we're gonna get but anyhow like I said and, and Quite honestly, like Oyala's skill set is not one that's really that meant for uh, for where he's at. Players with his skill set aren't gonna really score all that much in this system. I mean, he's gonna be he's gonna be the primary goal scorer, yes, but he's more of like that distributor, and, you know, more of a creative force out there, and uh, that's where that's where I think has helped Ose a little bit this this season. He's been able to get forward a bit more and kind of kind of score a little bit, I mean, well, not kind of score a little bit more, but definitely score a little bit more, but kind of be a little more active offensively. Oh, that was a good interception there by Uwusu. The problem is now once he gets the ball here, Oyala doesn't have a whole lot of pace to fill the gap up there. And, uh, you know, like I said, Ose is more of that, should be more of that score, though. Maybe I should think about switching them, too. Oof. In fact, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to give that... Oops. I'm going to give that... I'm going to give that a try because I'm pretty sure Ose can play in there and... Uh, Harala. Oh, what do you have? You have... See, yeah, your finishing is nine. Let's go ahead and move you to that box-to-box -box spot. See, I don't... I don't agree with that. I... I think he gets that just because he get, got, got the assist for the, uh... For the uh, whatever you want to call it, the goal, yeah, <laughs> yeah that's what I'm looking for. But we'll we'll see how that goes. Because I think I don't know, maybe that maybe that'll be something to give us a little more, uh, a little more something as we seem to have petered out here in the last few games, in my opinion. But anyhow, we should probably uh, oh, the changes haven't gone through. It's one thing that's kind of annoying. I, I feel like your your changes when you go and you just swap players around should go through a lot faster than they do. I mean, sometimes, like I said, it's just fucking takes forever to get that shit to go through. Like, substitutions. Substitutions take a while sometimes, but that's not that big a deal. I mean, if you time your shit out right, you know you know when and where you're going to get your your substitutions in. Whereas, like I said, I mean, just swapping two players, it's like, you know, you can't just yell at, you know, the nearest player and pass the word. You know what I mean? Shouldn't be that hard. Ooh. Oh, Pachman. With the brace. I was a bit fortunate. I fell right to him. But hopefully we can hang on to this. Since that goal, though, we have kind of, uh, kind of uh, taken over. Little bit. I think the numbers advantage is kind of uh, set in set in a little bit. And that's the thing too. Like as long as we get decent play as Suisi, shit, we can be and and we can kind of just as I said before. I mean, it's all about that defensive solidity. I mean, we can just figure that shit out, which we haven't been terrible. I mean, we've had we've had some some oh boy, so. Anyway, all right. So who should we, who should we remove? Hmm. Any suggestions? No, nobody. Oh, Gronholm is coming in for Saxola for sure. And then I think I'll mull over, mull over whether or not I should give Shoblum a run out. I do, but if we were up two goals, I absolutely would. 
There you go. Wusu just fucking right there the whole time. Just standing there. He's moving. He's on the move. There we go. And while you stopped and decided to pass one too many times is beyond me. There you go. He's uh, good goaltending. Easy goaltending, really. He's back on his line anyway. All right, we got Granholm on. Mm. I think we'll, I think we'll uh, take the suggestion and move a Wusu. And let Shoblum have, have a run out there. I think that's a good idea. And hopefully, like I said, we can hold on. Ah. It'd be really bad if we need, you know, two players sent off to, you know, make sure we walk away with this win. But it is what it is. There, yeah, that's an easy, easy interception there. You know, it's kind of funny, um, you know, to to bring about some real oh my. To bring about some real world football knowledge, um, Liverpool lately, uh, you know, since they just came off that wonderful result, I don't know if. Really, anyone grasps how good that result was against Arsenal? No, no, no draw was was really good. And of course, what do they do? They they put the one only true midfielder that that truly is a defensive midfielder out there for you know for the sake of just having to be out there because Henderson was injured and he just fucking destroys Lucas Leiva. I've been a big fan of Lucas Leiva for a long, long time. You know, I, don't, I feel bad for the guy that he never gets out there. And finally, Rodgers is starting to come along and realize that his fucking fullbacks, as we preach, you know, we're not we're not complete wingback lovers here. I mean, we we are definitely about fullbacks and defend first fullbacks. Oh boy, that was terrible. Yep, you guys have reason to be fucking. Holding your head in your hands, because that was just fucking no reason for that. How how do we get outnumbered? How do we get outnumbered in the final third? They are down a man. You, you know, it's just you just completely. Yeah, that was Gron home, not staying home. And oh my God, Jesus Christ, he should be sent off here for sure. Yeah, that's what I thought. And if we fucking Jesus Christ, that's that's a, this is a bad result. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, two two draw players because I I don't see us scoring again. I mean, I hope we do with 12 minutes left. But you know, anyway, yeah. Fuck, did, no, no, never mind. I was going to say, dude, yeah, look at that. And then that's the shit that fucking pisses me off. Like, there's no highlights for fucking the whole rest of the game, basically. The whole rest, I mean, after we go up another player, like, as if we fucking ever needed it, but. You know, and this is, uh, like I said, it's it's part of, uh, yeah, I don't know, it is part of football. Shit that irritates me. Like I said, it's. It's hard for me to power through shit like this when results don't go our way because of the outlook and all that shit. And like I said, I mean, I'm just not really into this whole LP, unfortunately. Like I said, it's been hard for me to get into this team. And let, and in truth, if I wasn't doing an LP for this, I would not be playing this. Because it's just, like I said, it irritates me to no end. And oh my god. Jesus. Oh, that's kind of a shitty spot to fucking blow the whistle too. I mean, but whatever. It is what it is, and that was a good performance. I'm fucking sorry, but I'm not happy with that shit. I, I don't fucking agree with that at all. Good performance, yes, yeah, statistically, but we didn't get the fucking three points, and we were up two men with 14 minutes of game time, and we failed to fucking score anything. I I fail to see. I mean, our only saving grace is that. FC Lati lost. I mean, we, I didn't really check that, but, you know, I mean, we got a point, sure. That's all fucking well and good, and that saved our asses, and there's no reason we should have fucking 15 fouls compared to their 12 when, we're, when we should be controlling play. 
But anyway, it is. It is invariably what it is. Especially too. I mean, we you have to understand we were up a man for a large portion of that game. It wasn't like they had two players sent off in the second half. I mean, we had a good sixty minutes being up at least one player. But anyhow, all right. So that is what it is. We don't have any injuries to check up on. Yanni Backman is the only one who played halfway decent. How in the hell does a defender when we were up two players? How is our central defender? The only player walking away with goals is beyond me. Uh, like I said, I think a lot of it has to do with the types of players that we have. And uh, like I said, the fact that we're lacking general pace and a bit of finishing. But uh, anyway, all right, that is what it is. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye now.